Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customizing the Declasse Impaler LX police car in GTA Online. <laughs> So we already have a uh, sort of standard version of this car in the game, uh, which we received in the Chop Shop DLC. But now we're in the bottom dollar bounties update. Um, we've got a load of new police cars to go and customise. We're going to be customising two today. And this is the first one. Uh, so it looks just like the normal Impaler LX. It's sort of like an 80s cop car. But obviously it's got all the police modifications and it's got a few police modifications in the custom shop. So let's head up there and see what we can do with this thing. And here we are in the custom shop. Let's go ahead and put full armor and full brakes on this thing. And we start off with bumper options. Now I imagine most of the actual visual parts are going to be the same as the normal car. No so the secondary at the moment is black. The... Sorry, the primary is black, the secondary is a white, um, which we might change up later, although that is sort of like the standard police design. We might pick something a little bit different. So we've got the stock from Mumper in Chrome. We can go for it in all primary black. We can go for it in white. Then we've got the chromery, sorry, Chrome bumper with reflectors. So it has those little reflectors Maybe down in the bottom there. Bubble? We've got the primary with reflectors, secondary re with reflectors. Then we've got the classic chrome bumper. We've got that in black and in white. So it has that sort of black trim around it. I don't know how else to describe it. Then we've got the chrome bumper with splitter. We can go for that in black or in secondary. If you can think it. Or primary or secondary, sorry. Um... I think we're going to go for, do we want to go all sort of like body colored like this or do I like the chrome bumpers? I'm going to go for primary with reflectors, I think that looks quite good. Um, the rear, I guess we'll just match it to the front but we'll have a look through the options anyway. So we've got the stock bumper, we can go for that in primary or in secondary. Then we've got the ridged plastic bumper. So that's a plastic strip just like the front bumper option. So if you want to match that. We got that in primary and in secondary. Then we got the cl chrome classic bumper. We've got that in primary and in secondary. And then we can actually go for a spare wheel. Which is I think the same as the um, sort of civilian version. Uh, I'm just going to go for the standard bumper but in black. I think that looks quite good. We're just going to try and remove a bit of chrome. I know chrome kind of looks good on old cars, but I want this thing to look quite mean. Um, engine options next. We've got just sort of performance upgrades, no visual stuff, which we haven't really been seeing any visual stuff in this update, so I wasn't expecting it. Exhaust next. We have got some burnt titanium tips as standard. Uh, now, a lot of cop cars in real life did have, like, extra modifications that the civilian versions didn't to make them faster so i guess this has an exhaust kit on it uh we can go for chrome exhausts we can go for angled chrome exhausts we can go for twin titanium exhausts if we can go for a chrome version of that then we've got the titanium side exit We've got those in chrome, and then we've got the a large dual exit, so they are on both sides. Side pipes, if we want to go for that. Um, I'm just going to go for these chrome exhausts. The They're sort of hidden under there, which is how I'd want it. Okay, rear antenna. So this is not available on the civilian version. We can go for the chrome antenna. We can go for that in primary or in secondary. Well, these might actually be available on the civilian one, but I don't remember it. Um, it's sort of not the right period to have it on this car. It's not really the right car to have one of them aerials on. It was sort of only on, like, limos in the time, in the sort of 80s. 
Uh, so grill options next. We've got the standard grill. We can go for a chrome vertical. We can go for chrome primary. We can go for uh, sorry, chrome primary. We can go for primary vertical, secondary vertical, chrome horizontal, primary horizontal, secondary horizontal, chrome mesh, primary mesh secondary mesh and we've got the chrome vintage grill oh i think i like um this one the primary vertical grill it kind of looks like the grill off a of buick grand national i don't know if anyone else is getting them vibes Making but that looks pretty cool now there's a bit less chrome on the front uh hood options next we won't be able to see these too well because it is black but we'll give it a go uh, we've got the stock hood. We can go for a primary hood with vents. We can go for a secondary ram hood. Oh, sorry, primary ram hood. So add some little ram scoops in there. We've got the primary low cowl induction hood. We've got the high cowl induction hood. We've got the dual filter blower. We've got the large filter blower. We've got the oval bug catcher and the triple bug catcher. So you can have a police car with a massive blower on it if you want to. Um, I'm just going to go for this one. Or am I going to leave it stock? Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it stock, actually. The one with the vents actually looks kind of cool. But I like it just how it is. Light options next. So this does not change the lights on the top. This is just the normal lights like it is on every other car. Um, liveries next. So these are all going to be sort of like police kind of liveries. Uh, some of them are like state trooper and stuff like that. So you can actually remove it if you want to just sort of have the lights, I guess, make it a bit more civilian looking. Um, we've got this one, which it comes with standard, the city of Los Santos police. We've got a different version of that. Then we've got the LS police light. We've got LS Police, which just literally has the sticker on the side. We've got the Highway Patrol light. That's cool. Los Santos Highway Patrol. We've got the Sheriff one there. We can go for the Sheriff Alternate. So add the Sheriff sticker on the side instead of underneath the logo there. Um, we've got the State Trooper. we got a sort of debadged state trooper one we've got the los santos police that's a very like old-fashioned kind of police looking livery uh we've got los santos county so if you're up in sandy shores i guess that's a bit more sandy shores like and then we've got the los santos state trooper um i don't know which one to go for i do like the sheriff one um this one is quite cool so we'll go for that one um, mirror options. So we have some chrome mirrors there. We can remove the mirrors. We can go for round chrome mirrors. We can go for primary version of those or secondary. And we have chrome square mirrors. We got those in primary or in secondary as well. We got the chrome classic mirrors. We got those in chrome, primary, and secondary. And finally, we've got the vintage mirrors in chrome, primary, or secondary i like the square ones these ones in chrome they look kind of period correct i guess police equipment next so this is stuff that you wouldn't get on the civilian version um we can go for searchlights first of all so we can have basic searchlight on each side we can go for folded single searchlight just on the driver side we can go for a raised single searchlight. We can go for folded dual searchlight, driver raised searchlight, and raised dual searchlights. I'm just going to go for the single raised searchlight on the driver side. That looks quite good. Emergency lights. So we have these really cool sort of old lollipop style lights, um, but there's loads of different ones you can go for. So you can actually remove the lights. If you want to make this thing like fully civilian, I don't know why you would. Um, it's giving you a little sort of 
look at how the lights work. I guess if you want to make this thing like undercover, you can remove the lights. Custom lights number one. What does that actually change? Oh, it just adds a light actually on the interior there on the dashboard, which is quite cool. We can go for a single round beacon if you want to. Uh, you can go for the dual sort of, I don't know what you call this, the dual flashing bulbs. You can go for that with, so that's with the siren, or you can go for that with the round sort of cone. You can go for the two lollipops, which it comes with standard. We've got that with the flashing lights and the speaker. And then we've got the sort of more modern style of light, if you want to go for that. I really like, um, which, where is it? I really like this, this one. I think that looks kind of period correct. I'd, I'll, I'd like to go for the one with the dash, just to see whether it works. But we're going to go with this. This looks kind of like 1970s. I know this is sort of like a 70s, 80s car, so I'm just trying to build it like that. Ram bars, next. We've got no ram bar, or push bar they're called. We can go for the basic push bar. It's not very easy for me to show you. Uh, we can go for the patrol push bar. We've got the response push bar, which actually does add extra lights in. We got the Prowler push bar with extra lights and siren. We got the intercept interceptor push bar, which adds like sort of little bars on the side. We got the tactical push bar. We got the assault push bar, which sort of adds lights in there. Oh, it does actually change the badge on the grill. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we've got the assault push bar. And we've got the assault push bar with sirens. Um, I guess we'll just go for the basic one. Um, or do we want to go for one with lights to see where the lights actually work? And now I'm just going to go for the basic one. Respray we will come back to. Um, I think I might change the color up in a minute. Uh, trim options, we can add in the chrome strip on the side if we want to make this a sort of higher trim level. And then we've got the trim with the chrome step. So that's like the civilian version. I'm going to leave those removed because I don't think they look right. Spoiler options, we can go for a small primary lip, a small secondary lip, we have a plastic lip. Then we've got the medium, primary medium spoiler. Secondary medium spoiler and plastic medium spoiler. Then we got the bolted primary lip spoiler, the bolted secondary lip spoiler, the plastic bolted. Then we got a large bolted in primary, in secondary, and in plastic. Um, I guess we'll go for like the primary small lip. That uh, just adds a little flair, but it looks quite good. Suspension options. We got the standard suspension. We can get a bit of a drop out of this if we want to. Um, it doesn't really look right on a police car. Maybe we'll just go like two clicks street suspension. So it's just removing that arch gap a little bit. Uh, transmission next. We got the race transmission. We'll put that in and turbo tune it. Now, wheels. Uh, these are custom wheels to this car. Um, they're available on some of the other police cars, but you can't get this these wheels on the civilian version. But if you go into the street category and you scroll through, you can get ones that are kind of similar. I think the standard wheels honestly look the best. You can also get the, um, in the muscle category, they're called rod. These ones are kind of like police wheels. They have that chrome bit in the center. So there's some options for you if you're building a police car yourself. We're going to leave the standard color, but we will go for bulletproof tires. Obviously, we can't change the design. Um, windows, I guess we could go for a bit of light smoke on the windows. And then color options. So it is kind of a standard police color. Um, we can go, up, go ahead and change up the primary, which is 
sort of the main body of the car. Um, so you can make this thing sort of into a taxi if you wanted to, I guess. So if you removed all the police parts of it, you could basically build your own taxi, which is quite cool. Um, I think I want to go for a green colour. I don't know which green. Racing green. Uh, yeah, we'll go for racing green with white. Kind of looks like a sheriff's car in my opinion. And the secondary colour will change everything. Uh, you can see there so you can get some really wacky sort of police car designs if you want but i want to keep mine like a real sort of police car and there we go that is my customization complete we'll go ahead and take this thing out onto the street i'll show you all the lights working we'll open up the doors and stuff like we normally do and um, we'll take it for a little bit of a drive and here we are outside in the lx interceptor it's very very cool i have to say driving a sort of modified police car around los santos we've been asking for some like police car customization for a long time we've had a lot of vehicles that have been added as dlc cars that would have been really cool police cars and finally rockstar are adding some police customization for them yes the lights actually do work on this thing so we have flashing lights on the top there's no flashing lights on the front but there is flashing lights on the back so that is pretty cool and the siren actually does work and um, vehicles do actually get out of the way for you if you have the sirens on which is pretty cool Okay, here we go with all the doors open. It is a four-seater, so if you want to do heist in this thing, you actually can. You can take your buddies with you. Uh, in the back, pretty cool detail. There are some like police-style things. There's some gas grenades, some bullets, bulletproof armor, which is very, very cool. Um, the back seat is just a normal back seat, but in the front... Um, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's loads of like police style stuff. So there's a police laptop in there, which personally I wish wasn't in there because it's not really true to the period. They didn't have laptops and stuff back then. But there's all the police radios and stuff, which is very, very cool. We've got that spotlight, which we'll check if that works in a minute. The engine bay, um, the actual engine, the valve covers are quite detailed, but the rest of the engine is not. Uh, which we've been used to in more recent times. But there we go. So that little spotlight does actually work. And those lower lights do work as well in the bumper, which is very nice. I am a fan of working lights on vehicles. Uh, Rockstar have been adding a lot of vehicles with sort of light options on them. But they haven't been working, which is unfortunate. Uh, as far as how the vehicle drives, it feels exactly the same as the normal Impaler LX if you've driven that vehicle. But there we go. Let me know what you guys think of my customization and showcase. Are you going to be buying the Impaler LX? I quite like it, but I'm looking forward to the Dominator FX, which we're going to be customizing in about an hour. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you don't want to miss that video. And make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. just really helps out the channel. That's going to do it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one.